not sure if I understand your question about blockades. You mean the gates in or onto the port, the gates of the port? There, there's no, there are no blockades down at the port right now. So are you saying they're not going to be allowed to enter, um, penetrate the gates of the port? That's a federal offense, and that's not going to be allowed. If that happens, they will be arrested. But as far as walking around the port property in, uh, in terms of the streets outside, and the, the, well, there, there are no sidewalks there, but on the gravel area, um, we're not, we're not intending, we're going to allow people to roam around freely in that area, but we're not going to allow them to uh, go beyond the gates of the port once the, once the gates are closed. Um, yeah, we're, we are trying to get truckers out of there, um, trying to get them to leave. They're trying to leave, so uh, I'm not sure what the status is, but when I, just before I came down here, there was a concerted effort by our traffic unit to try to get, um, try to get uh, truckers to go out um, that want to leave, so that might be what they're talking about. Thank you. Appreciate uh, coming tonight. If you've got a few other questions, I can stay for a few minutes, but we've got... Um, the next press briefing will be at 9 o'clock. Thanks.
from the wire. It has been declared shut down by the president of the Port Authority. Shut down the port effectively. Oh, it goes. Ah! Always here. <laughs> Somebody who knows me from my voice off the stream, I guess. Coming up to say hi. <laughs> Weren't you expecting us? <laughs> said if we cross the gate, it's a federal offense and we'll be arrested. Which gate? <laughs> Which gate, yeah. Who said that? Uh, the feds. That's what they're saying on television from wherever the news is reporting from. Gotcha. Who is this? Uh, the people that are watching the news at home right. said yeah. that uh, wherever the cameras are from the mainstream, oh. said that if we cross some gate, that it's uh, a federal offense and we'll be arrested. Uh, oh they boy. can't arrest us all. The lions are... <laughs> Thank you, Noise Bridge. Yes, there have been contingents. Uh, I think Occupy SF is uh, blocking that last gate down there. Uh, Anonymous press. We don't, we don't oh. live stream and you can get in front of me, it's no biggie. Communications is uh, checking with other people to see what's already been blocked and what needs blocked so we can drop people from the mass off at each of the different places that need blocked. It sounds like what the mic check is uh, discussing right now. Let's check in with Prom Force Jeff Bush, who is also the white walking with today. protesters. He's on the phone with us now. Jeff. Yeah. Hi, Pam. That's right. I'm here in the crowd. And I have to tell you, the mood here is 
a festive mood uh, for any other lack of a better word. Uh, people are standing uh, on these trucks and on these uh, containers that these trucks are pulling. Um, and people are posing for pictures, and uh, a lot of people are smiling. Their dogs are dressed up in costumes, and people are, they seem to have like a, a general uh, happiness about uh, what they've done. It seems that, uh, as Dan said, uh, they've definitely shut down the uh, the terminal. That most certainly is true. Uh, the truckers, for that for that uh, for what they're doing, they're they're just sitting here filling out. They're watching the show. They have nothing else to do. Um, one guy is uh, watching. Uh, is there a sense that they feel this has all been a success today? I think if I were to speak for this group, I think that that would definitely be an accident. I think that everybody here is trying to tell the story and aren't seeing their that she went out and kind of assessed the area and said everything pretty much looked peaceful. They did mention that five businesses, including banks and one Whole Foods, were also damaged as well. And now the executive director of the port did mention that uh, maritime operations at the port were shut down at about 5 o'clock today just to make sure that workers are able to get home safely. And uh, they basically said that CHP is, uh, they requested them to assist and they're pretty much on standby just in case if there are people who want to get on the freeway possibly or get on the bridge. They're just pretty much on standby. So they said if they need them, they they will come. Um, they also did mention that there have been some issues with crowd control and they're trying to, I mean, we're talking about 4,500 people. Now, um, another one thing that they did say is, I'm looking here at my notes, they mentioned a few other things that... Um, they're going to have a minimum amount of police presence, which I'm sure you have already seen. Um, another point, I'm going all over the place here, but I'm trying to get this across, is that the port is closed. Now, they talked about, you know, the money that this brings in, it's about $39 billion a year. So shutting it down for one day, that's about $8.5 million a year. And uh, they did mention they're going to have another press briefing uh, in a couple of hours. So we'll keep you posted and find out, uh, again, any more information about uh, what's going on here. But again, they said uh, no arrests have been made so far, no injuries, and they're estimating approximately 4,500 people here. All right, Alejandra, thank you. Uh, Alejandra is keeping in touch with the city officials and their response to all of this. On the line with us right now to talk about today's general strike is Jane Bruner, a member of the Oakland City Council. Thank you for joining us. What is your initial reaction to all of this today? Well, right now, I'm on the march, and right now it is, it's very peaceful. Lots of families with kids, young adults, that interesting signs, and a very, like a festival spirit. Why did you decide to Why did you decide to participate with the uh, marchers today? I support the message. I support the message that most of us are 99 percent our small businesses in Oakland, our police, and our citizens, and that we need to make a statement in this country that we can't just take care of the one percent. We have to take care of the people who've lost their homes, the student loans that all the young people have to pay back. Uh, some businesses have been vandalized today by a small group of uh, protesters. Your reaction to that? You know, I, most of the protests have been peaceful. There's been a lot of people out here trying to stop anyone who's vandalizing. Um, you, it is really too bad and very sad that, you know, the small businesses here did not be destroyed. Do you have any concerns as night begins to fall? I didn't hear that. Do you have any concerns as night begins to fall and some near 5,000 people are crowded through the streets of Oakland? 
Well, I have more concerns once all the families and peaceful people leave and go home. We've all just marched from City Hall for an hour and a half to get to the port. People are going to get tired and go home. And then you're going to be left with a few people who are here to cause some problems. We understand at tomorrow's city council meeting, a resolution is on the table to talk about the Occupy encampment. Uh, can you tell us about the resolution and your position about it? I have not seen the resolution yet. But I actually believe that right now, no matter what we believe about tents or not having a tent, having a tent, Oakland is the epic center of Occupy Wall Street. We have to be really careful that we, um, it's just peaceful and we treat everybody with respect. Some critics are saying that Oakland city leaders have lost control of the city and turned that authority over to the protesters who've decided to stay in the camp and that they are in fact calling the shots there. How do you respond to that? Well, I think I was not part of the decision to move the tents. The police chief, the city administrator, and the mayor decided to move the tents. I think the frustration that I'm hearing from people is after they spent all that money moving the tents, that they let them come back. But that is a decision that the council has not made. Well, how do you feel about the decision that was made by the mayor and police then? I'm not going to go back to what I think originally should have happened or not, but once you, I think it's once you move tents back, once you move them out, and it does, it was, it didn't make sense to let them come back. But now that they're back, the old, you really need to let them stay because if you don't, you're going to have, you think you have 5,000 now, you're going to have 20,000 people down here. All right. Oakland City Council Member Jane Bruner, thank you for your uh, observations and information today about the Occupy movement and, the de and today's general strike. Again, she is among the protesters moving to the port of Oakland. Uh, we're going to take a break. We'll be right back.